Welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Tracy from Midpoint Library, Westchester, and this is Storytime. That means we have a book to look at together. We have some songs to sing, and we have some rhymes to do. The first thing you need to do to get ready for Storytime is find the perfect spot and settle in. And while you're settling in, I will use my Storytime wand to shake some Storytime love your way. So, settle in while I Shake, 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 shake. Did you find the perfect spot? Are you ready for stories? I know I am. So let's start off with a rhyme, and this rhyme uses your hands. Can I see your hands? Just like this. All right, and we're going to make our hands go open and shut. Let's practice one more time. Ready? Open and shut. All right, let's do our rhyme together. It's called Open Them, Shut Them. Here we go. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up near your chin, chin, chin. Creep them up to the top of your head and creep them down again. Nice job, friends. All right, let's find out who our story time helper is today. Today, our story time helper is... Who is that? It's Mouse. Mouse is our story time helper today. And Mouse is going to help us sing a song. Now, during this song, we're going to wave our hands just like this. Can you wave your hands too? All right. Mouse, can you wave your hand? <gasps> Mouse can wave his hand. All right, let's try it together. Ready? Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Say hello to story time. Hello, everybody. All right, this time we're going to sing the song again, but at the very end, we will use mouse language instead. What does mouse say? What do you say, mouse? Squeak, 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 squeak. Can you squeak like mouse? Squeak, squeak, squeak. All right, so at the very end, we will squeak. I'll tell you when to squeak. Right, let's wave that hand again. Ready? Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Here it is. Ready? All right, that was a very good squeaking, Mouse. That was very good squeaking for you, too. All right, now Mouse is going to help us check our mail because we have some mail, some story time mail. I wonder what's in the mail. We have some mail. All right, let's check our red mailbox. Mouse helped me hold that. He is our helper today. Let's see if he can open up our red mailbox. Can you do it, Mouse? Ta-da! Thank you, Mouse. All right, so Mouse is going to sit right here and watch the rest of story time. Let's check our mail. We have an envelope, and it says, Story Time Kids. Story Time Kids. Let's see what we have inside our mail. We have a letter. It's the letter T. T makes the sound. T -t -t. Can you make that sound with me? Ready? T -t -t. T -t -t -t. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, we have, that's right, tractor. T -t -t tractor. We have a tree. T -t -t tree. Thank you for helping me check the mail. You might hear that same sound and see that same letter t, -t, -t, -t in our book today. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. I couldn't find it at first. It's called When a Tiger Comes to Dinner. There's that T word, t, -t, -t tiger Our book is by Jessica Olian, and our publisher is HarperCollins. Thank you so much to HarperCollins for letting us use this book. Would you like to have a tiger come to dinner with you? I don't know. If you do, you might need to get ready. This book will help you know what you need to do 
if you want a tiger to come to dinner with you. There's tiger. Looks like tiger's getting ready to go. Go somewhere special. Hello there. It's Mouse. Did you know that a tiger is coming for dinner? Yes, right now. Are you ready? You're lucky that I'm here to help. It just so happens that I, said Mouse, am a tiger expert. He's reading a book called How to Impress a Tiger. It seems like it might be useful. The thing about tigers is that they can be scary if you don't do everything just right. Have you ever met a tiger? Their teeth are as big as icicles. Their whiskers are as long as swords. And their claws are... Did you hear that? Did you hear that tap, tap, tap? Is that the door? Oh, no, wait. Do you see who that is? Tap, tap, tapping on the window. That's weird. I guess not. I guess it wasn't the door. You'll need something fun to do once Tiger gets here. Tigers hate to be bored. What about games? A tiger loves a rousing game of go fish. Have you ever played go fish before? It's a card game. But did you know tigers do not like checkers? like checkers, do you? Mouse says tigers don't. Do you have any peanut butter? Tigers love peanut butter sandwiches for dinner. Me too. Let me teach you some words in tiger. So this is what means hello in tiger. Roar! So let's practice getting ready to say hello to tiger. Ready? Roar! Mouse says we need to do it louder. Let's roar louder. Roar! I don't know. Can you roar even louder? Look how big those letters are. That means we need to roar louder. Ready? Roar! Much better. Tiger should be here any minute. Tigers are very punctual. That means they're on time. Do you have any hats? Tigers love a good hat. Look at all of Mouse's hats. Mouse has one with feathers. Mouse has a crown. Oh my goodness. But not a party hat. The tiger is going to be here any second. Don't worry. As long as you do everything I told you, it will be fine. Welcome, tiger. I'm excited, are you? Oh, one more thing. When you say hello, put your hands up like claws and show your teeth. That is the polite tiger greeting. Oh no, tiger's here, tiger's here, get ready. You ready? roared. We roared. And do you know what Tiger said? Ah! Oh no, we scared Tiger. Oh dear, did I make a mistake? Let me check my Tiger handbook. Whoops. Roar actually means I'm going to eat you. No wonder she was scared. Hello and Tiger is, um, Hello. I don't know what I was thinking. It says here tigers actually like checkers and party hats. We do, says Tiger. But I was right about the peanut butter. It's the perfect dinner for a tiger. Now you're ready to have tiger for dinner too. Because we read this book, When a Tiger Comes to Dinner. Oh, you'll have to tell us here at the library if you bring a tiger to dinner at your house. That would be pretty interesting, wouldn't it? All right, let's do some tiger songs. So, 
we're gonna do some tiger wiggling. We're going to wiggle our tiger claws. Could you do that? And wiggle our tiger paws. And wiggle our tiger skin. That means wiggle all over. And then show off our big tiger grins. That means show me your teeth, ready? That's pretty scary. All right, let's do it together, ready? I can wiggle my tiger claws. I can wiggle my tiger paws. I can wiggle my tiger skin. I can give a big tiger grin. Nice job, oh my goodness, tigers. All right, I have a game for us to play. So, I have a bed. And I have a tiger. And when you see tiger under the bed, you're going to do what? Do you remember what tigers like to say? Roar! But it might not always be a tiger. It might be another animal instead, so you can make that noise, but not roar. All right, so let me grab all my other animals here. All right, so we're gonna count to three and we're gonna look under this bed. And if you see a tiger under the bed, you're gonna roar. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> roar! Oh no, there was a tiger under our bed. All right, let's see. Now remember, if it's another animal, you can make that animal's noise instead. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! Oh no, I hope you like to roar. We've done lots of roaring today. All right, let's do it again. And this time, if you see another animal, make his noise instead. Ready? One, two, three. No tiger there. All right, let's do it one more time. And if you see a tiger, give a great big roar. I wonder who we'll see this time. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! Oh, thank you for helping me play that game, friends. We got to be very good at roaring, didn't we? All right, let's look at our letter of the day very quickly. Do you remember what letter we got in the mail today? It was the letter T, 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 t as in terrain or tree or tiger. All right, it's time to say goodbye. So we say goodbye by doing Simon Says. Simon Says, wave your hand in front of your nose. Simon Says, wave your hand all the way down by your toes. Simon says, wave your hand at your neighbor and your friend. You're my neighbor, you're my friend. Hello, friends. Hello, neighbors. Simon says, give yourself a hug. Squeeze nice and tight. Ooh, Simon says, give yourself a big hand. You did such a great job at story time today. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.